Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm here today with a requested box. Happy Wednesday. Happy Box Day. Um, the requested box is for these Cadbury Cream Egg things. I do not enjoy texture of creamy center things. And so um, I bought one and the request was for a box for a single and a box for five of them. So we're going to do that. So the box of five, we're going to kind of guess because I didn't buy five of them because I'm not going to eat them. Um, and the girls that I work with now, they don't, um, they don't eat sweets, which is crazy, but whatever. Okay, so you're going to use your pink book, whether you have the old cover, which is the light pink that just says box template, or you have the new cover that says fold flat box template, and it's the darker pink. It's the same book on the inside. I just changed the cover. But either way, the pink book. Um, my disclaimer, you may hear some sounds of freedom in the background. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live near an army artillery training site. And so you might hear some um, different noises. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and do our book. So our item size is about, I'm using my mat to measure, it's about one and a half left to right, about one and a half thick. Um, my length is about one and three quarters. Okay. So this is a Cadbury egg, cream, cream egg, creme, egg, cream egg. Okay, so we want it to be one and a half inches thick. And we need to cover up that thickness so she don't muffin top. So one and a half there, one and a half there. I need my closure flap, which I like a half an inch. So I'm gonna put my half an inch there and there. My left to right. This one's easy because it's gonna be the same. So one and a half, one and a half. And my up and down is one and three quarters. Let's math. Okay, so left to right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half by my up and down. Um, one, two, three, four, five and three quarters. Okay, let's math that. All right, get our score lines. So on the long side, it's one and a half plus one and a half is three, and then four and a half um, and six. Okay, my up and down is um, one and a half and two on both sides. Okay, the measurements will be in the description box. Okay, sorry I'm tired guys. Right, so seven and a half by five and three quarters. some of this mess away from here but I like to craft in chaos right on the seven and a half inch side um, we're going to score at one and a half three four and a half and six And on the short side, we're going to score it at half an inch and two, both sides, half an inch 
and two. Okay. So, for my scoreboard users, we got half an inch, two, three and three quarters, and five and a quarter. That's for my scoreboard users if you don't want to rotate your paper. It's the same measurements whether you do it all four at the same time or you rotate your paper like I did. Okay, so starting position with your half an inch marks at the top and the bottom. Uh, start at the bottom right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You don't need those eight boxes. Um, let me hit this with a bone folder so you can see it. So varnish now or later, it don't matter. I just want you to be able to see it. Yes, I am lazy varnishing. I, I know. I'm tired. So, this is what happens. Okay. So now that you can see, so you're going to cut off your four boxes on the bottom right. So two rectangles, two squares. Okay. Allegedly. And then the top four boxes as well. Two rectangles, two squares. See how something looks crazy like this? We're going to cut off some of the bulk and we're going to miter, miter. Okay, then we're going to come to this score line. We're going to cut up the score line. We're going to cut off approximately half, a little bit more. Miter and miter up the score line, half, miter, and miter, right, rotate it, do the same to the top or bottom that you did to the top or bottom, um, cut up the score line, half, miter, miter, oh this one I did, I cut a lot off that one, alright, up the score line, half miter and miter okay I don't know why I kept the book there that whole time but I did all right so varnish if you did not already fold your this is your starting position fold this flap in glue Um, left side, fold over, varnish your glue in there. Okay. And corner rounder, round your middle tabs, which I often forget to do until the very last step. Okay. Open your box. And put your snack in there, and we have a perfect box once again. So super cute. I love it. You may have to put a little shreddies or something in there because um, the egg does not stand up perfectly straight. It falls over a little bit. Um, but I did try... Originally, I tried it with the smaller measurements, and it just didn't look right. It was it looked like a muffin top. So these are the measurements that you'd want to use. Uh, as you can see here, I did smaller, and it didn't work out. So these are the measurements you want to use. I will put them in the description box. So now we got to kind of figure out five when I only have... <laughs> um, one candy. So this is a guesstimate, so I hope it works. So we're going to take out our yellow book, which is the lidded box. OK. 
Okay, yellow book. And um, I think we're just going to do a tray. So what I need to figure out, though, is I need five of these items, right? So these are one, um, one and a half by one and three quarters by one and a half, right? So I need to fit five. So where's my ruler? Okay, so I need to do, where's my calculator? 1.5 times five equals, so my item size is gonna be seven and a half by, still gonna be the same length, I think, the up and down. Um, one and three quarters by one and a half because we still need to be thick, right? Um, I think this is, I, I'm thinking it's going to work. We probably could do a pizza box. Let me look at pizza box. I got to visually see a pizza box. So this would be Um, no, because it's not going to, it's not going to match. Well, maybe. Let's see. One and a half, 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 seven and a half, one and three fourths, one and three fourths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could do a pizza box. Let's do a pizza box. That way it's all in one as opposed to doing, because if you're doing a lidded box, I'm going to have to do two, two pieces. So I'm going to have to do the top and the bottom. Um, but if you do the pizza style box, which is the purple book, um, we, only, we could probably fit it on one sheet of eight and a half by 11. That's the goal here. Um, so let's see. So my right to left measurements, those three. So 1.5 plus 7.5 plus 1.5 equals 10 and a half by My up and down is one, two, three, four, five. So that is going to be 1.5 plus 1.75 plus 1.5 plus 1.75 plus 1.5 equals eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do that again. 1.5 plus 1.75 plus 1.5, plus 1.75, plus 1.5. Okay, I guess it is eight. Sometimes I don't trust the calculator. All right, so eight and a half, or eight by 10 and a half. All right. So, let's cut this down to eight. by ten and a half. Okay, now the scoring, this is where it's going to get a little tricky because I don't do a lot of pizza boxes, to be honest. Because I can just do a lit it box. I can do those quickly and it's, you know, I don't have to think about it. All right, so the long side, I need one and a half. Wait, no. No, 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 no. Mm, 
Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do one and a half on all four sides. I'll write down the other measurements, but this is the way I do it. So, one and a half. Rotate one and a half. Rotate one and a half. Rotate one and a half. Okay. And then the short side is actually like this. So one and a half plus one and three fourths. Excuse my arm. 1.5 plus 1.75 equals three and a quarter. Plus 1.5. So four and a quarter. Wait. 1.5 plus 1.75 equals three and a quarter plus 1.5 is four and a four and three quarters. And that should be it. Okay, so your measurements. Ruler, here we go. On the long side, your measurements are one and a half and nine. So one and a half and nine. And on the short side, you're at one and a half. Three and a quarter. Four and three quarters. And six and a half. So, because, because this is mainly the same measurement, it's going to be a little difficult to cut. So, let's go ahead and we're going to varnish. And we're going to varnish. And we're going to varnish. Wait, I don't even know what my wall folder is. So, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Whenever there's a pizza box that the measurements are pretty much the same, I really have to think about where to cut, which is good for you guys to see because I think out loud and so it will help you as well. Some of you prefer pizza boxes and have it down, but you don't like my full flat box and I'm the opposite. So, all right. So for this particular box, we're going to cut on the short side. Okay. So... We're not cutting anything off other than we're going to cut up the score line. Um, we're going to miter. Uh, I will cut off some of the bulk and then I miter. Okay. We're going to skip a box. We're going to cut up the score line. And then you're also going to cut up this next score line. Okay, this third box we're going to cut in half, we're going to miter, and we're going to miter, okay? So then you're going to skip a box, we're not going to touch anything on this box. We're going to cut up the score line, we're going to cut off half, miter, miter, okay? So this is what's making our boxes. Now you're going to go to the other end and you're going to do the same thing. If you need to take a pen to tell you cut, 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 you can do that too. Okay. So we're going to cut up this first score line on the left. We're going to cut this in half. Miter, miter. I hope I'm telling you the right thing. All right. The next score line, we're just going to cut up. Okay, we're not going to touch anything on this box. 
this one we're going to cut up that up second square line cut about half miter miter oh my gosh i need to bring their dog in he's going insane Okay, um, we're not going to cut anything on this box except for the score line, cut it off, miter, and miter. And the difference between the lidded box with the hinge lid and the pizza box is really just um, if you can fit it on one piece of paper or not. I typically use my 8.5 by 11 for boxes. And so if I needed more than, if I needed a piece of paper that was bigger than eight, uh, the eight and a half by 10 or eight and a half by 11, then I would have just did a base and a lid. It would have looked exactly the same as a pizza box in the end, but um, using less paper and smaller paper, right? Okay, so you're gonna bring it like this, take your glue or your tape, glue your tab, glue your tab and glue this tab to this base here okay and you're going to glue this one to this side perfect now if you're using directional paper you need to pay attention for me it doesn't matter because this is the same on all sides okay so these middle tabs are going to go up here so this is going to be my top so you, you, if you use directional paper, you need to pay attention. Um, but since I'm not, I just know I can go ahead and add, apply glue to these tabs. And I'm going to bring it up into the start of my the box bottom. Like so. Okay. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So now you have your tray, oops, my glue slid, and it was not lined up properly. There we go. Okay. Now you have something funky that looks like this, okay? These tabs are going to fold in and glue to these, okay? It's a lot easier when your measurements aren't almost exactly the same. So basically, um, you're going to have four tabs on one side and two tabs on the other. That's how you make these pizza boxes. Okay. Let it dry. And there you go. There should, five of them should fit. Um, if we did, let's see. I would think so. So one, two, three, four, and yep, yeah, five. So five will fit. Oh, you know how fun would that be? I don't know if these little cream egg thingies come in different flavors, but you can make the single box and put it in and do the different flavors. That'd be super cool. Or, you know, make five of these little boxes and then put little five little treats, five different treats in there. That would be super cute. But, I mean, or you can just put the five eggs in there and maybe put some shreddies or something like that in there. Um, or the Easter grass or something like that. Put that in there. You know, obviously you don't have to have the box. I just, I guess I could... I forgot I had the actual candy in there. So yeah. It'll probably fit like that. It's going to lay down a little bit. But that's okay. It'll still look gorgeous in there. So there you go. Alright guys. If you have a requested box, reach out to me. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.